This episode of M2M is brought to you by Home Alone, a reality show created by famous YouTuber Liger Blubber. Streaming now. Welcome to our M2M Cross with Home Alone Part 2. We are joined by Ryan, one of the contestants who was eliminated, spoiler alert, on episode 3. Um, and me, Kevin, and Geoffrey really just loved what Ryan had to say to Olivia at the end of episode three. So we're just going to start off with asking Ryan, Ryan, do you have anything else that you want to add? I know you could have, you might have some regret knowing that you could have eliminated Olivia if you had stuck with what Caitlin told you to do. So how, how is your frustration levels right now? So frustration, it was, it was very high. I would have to say like in the moment when I realized that what I did wasn't necessarily like my best option, um, stress, a lot of anxiety just like sprouted up because again, it's, it was just like, I didn't feel like I could trust Caitlin and seeing how they already went against me in one vote. I assumed this was going to be the case again, but I think once that three-way tie sort of hit, I was just like, damn, I really did fuck up here. And once I was out, uh, I would say that that frustration only elevated because, you know, we're out here pleading our cases and some did it a little more humbly than others. I'm not going to say who Olivia didn't, but, um, (laughs) you know, that's just the game and, I think once I was eliminated and that like stress was there, it like died off very quickly. I think I came to terms with it better than I expected to. Um, And yeah, like to sort of like elaborate on what I meant when I told Olivia, she's not going to go far. Um, When we're looking at Olivia, she is, a winner type as in if she does not win um she is going to do everything in her power to make sure that she gets to the top um whether that be putting people down whether that be you know making alliances behind different people's backs and then like effectively like making her like you know her agenda top priority um she has no shame And to some extent, I applaud her on that. However, you know, when it's me and, you know, I'm out here trying to, like, play the game safe, trying to be, like, you are my ride or die. I'm trying to establish this connection from the start. And, you know, she completely goes behind my back. Ever since the first episode, she wanted me gone. She said that in several confessionals. Um... And, you know, you think you can trust someone, but she is a woman not to be trusted. Um, I wish I would have knew that that sooner, but instead I was a little gullible. I did play the cards wrong. So in the end, what can you do? Yeah, I think you're coping with it fine, though. You seem you seem like you're over it. You're moved. You moved on. Um, Olivia. Well, we have some words about Olivia. We have Kevin and Geoffrey and me who are here to react to episode four. And of course, Gavin is with us, the creator, to kind of moderate this debate. But I think I'm going to go first with, based on episode four, who I think is the team to support in Home Alone. And let me just change my background real quick. I just want you guys to know who I'm supporting. I'm supporting Team Kale all the way, guys. Sure. Let me let me tell you some things based on yesterday's episode. At the end, I want you to watch the reactions from Emir and Nick. They are both clueless. They both look like little girls because the vote was 2-2-2. <laughs> two, two, two. Any one of them could have been eliminated. Nobody knew what the hell was going on. Only Kale knew what was going on. And if you guys saw the episode yesterday, Kale was in control the entire time. He played every single person in the episode. And he said at the beginning of this episode, I'm getting Rachel eliminated. He ended up getting Rachel eliminated. 
So I just think based on that episode, we're reacting to episode four. Kale is my man. I wouldn't be surprised if he turns on the boys I, because he is the wild card. He is the mastermind, and he is my pick to win Home Alone. Hashtag Team Kale. Let me uh, interject myself in here and just hold your horses there, Serge. So let me talk about Kale, right? Yes, I'm going to say in this past episode, Kale absolutely played everybody. But let me show you who I'm with. Sorry, Ryan, but I'm with Team Olivia. Hashtag Team Olivia. So let me tell you why she's going to win. First of all, Kale already played all of his cards this early. And who won? Who won the challenge in the first place? Olivia did. So Olivia didn't have to pull out any of her cards, whereas Kale had pulled out all of his cards just for this one episode. Remember, there are, what, eight episodes? So we still got a lot more to go, a lot more challenges, a lot more um, trying to trick people. And I feel like Olivia's got all of her connections still in place. Now everybody knows that Kale played them. No one's going to trust Kale anymore. Um, Amir and Nick, they're going to have questions about Kale. And all the girls who thought that Kale might have been on their side, they know that he tricked them to get Rachel out. So they're not going to trust Kale anymore. And Olivia, she has been a survivor. She's literally a survivor, no pun intended, throughout this entire series. And I'm sorry for what happened to Ryan, but that, that was pure genius what she did. She, she, she didn't even try to play Caitlyn. She just said out, outright, hey, I'm going to vote Ryan. I need you on this. And Caitlin listened because Olivia just has that power. Um, I don't think anyone even comes close to the type of genius that she has uh, on the show. I will have to agree with Kevin. Um, Olivia is very, very calculating. Uh, just being in the show and like hearing her say things to me and having listen back on personal conversations that she's had with other people she's definitely thinking of ahead and not totally giving away herself in the process um like kevin said i uh, i do think that kale definitely is playing all of his cards very early there's a sense of eagerness to it um Kale, uh, knowing him, he is a very, very big Survivor fan. He knows the ins and outs of all of it. And we can even see that in some of his like little calculations that he does in confessions. Like He's on top of it. However, because he's playing everything very, very early, he's also leaving himself with nothing to back himself up further in the game, which you know could spell doom for him potentially. All right, before before Joffrey goes, let me just respond real quick. All right, there was one little detail I saw at the end of yesterday's episode that was a little bit of insight into the next week's episode. It shows Kale and Olivia about to make a pinky promise. Is that a sign of an alliance? I don't know. But if Kale and Olivia make an alliance, I'm telling you right now, we're going to see those two in the final final two. I can agree with that. All right, first of all, I would like to go all the way back to episode two. All right, Amir, Nick, Gail had the advantage. They should have just threw the game. They could have warded off Jordan, Rachel. I have no idea why they didn't ward them off. They're dimwits for not warding them off and then going to the merge. Right, it makes no sense to me whatsoever. You know, and after that episode, you know, I'm obviously Team Amir, right? Team Amir all the way. And after that episode, I thought Amir was screwed. I didn't see him winning whatsoever. He needed immunity to win because. Everyone was against Amir except Gail and Nick, and that was in the major- majority whatsoever. You know, I, I lost all hope. I was completely done. I was ready to switch teams. I was going to be a bandwagon. I was going to go to Team Olivia, you know. But then all of a sudden, that man, Gail, came out of nowhere. You know, he's out for blood. He's out for blood. That man, Gail, I, I, I never expected that. He tricked everyone. Olivia, first of all, probably the most gullible person on the planet, even Jordan. And another thing, Kevin loves Olivia for some reason. But let me say this. She's lying, egotistical, salty mania. I'm so happy that that happened. I really thought Olivia was going to win. And the kill came out of nowhere. And I'm going to tell you why I'm going to stick with the mirror. All right? Gail isn't going to backstab any of the boys because – Everyone else hates him except Olivia, who might 
uh, alive with him. But other than that, he has to stick with Amir and Nick. Amir isn't the most intelligent person, but you know, he has done well in the games. He's more athletic than the other people. Uh, I mean, he's still not athletic, but you know, he's more athletic than the people left of the show, right? So, Kale's going to carry Emir to the final two. That's my prediction. And guess what's going to happen? That's when Emir starts mattering. Emir wins the challenge, and Emir wins the World Series. He wins Home Alone. Calling it right now. Now, I will have to say, um, I appreciate the fact that you do support Emir. However, uh, you bring up this point about about uh, athleticism, but um, I would just like to say that that's coming from a place of like assuming that all of the further challenges later on in this series are going to be like athletic. Um, they could very well be a mind game. We saw that in episode two. Um, it could very much be something like endurance related. Um, which, like, sure, for athleticism, yes, but, like, in other terms of endurance, uh, sort of like how with last episode it was balancing um, balls on a plate, uh, we could very well see, like, something similar to that where it relies on coordination, um, relies on coordination, relies on skill, relies on memory. It's not just about the athletic part, but can Amir supplement like the rest of like the challenges going forward you know well you know i see what you're talking about but let's look at the previous challenges samir is so good at all the challenges even the memory games uh, on the other end olivia has been absolute garbage the only game she won who won, the who won? Game. tell me who yeah, won no, who but, won the last right, challenge you want to know why she won you, you want to know why she rachel, won rachel amir and nick threw the game amir nick rachel threw the game too yeah, so I don't, I don't want to hear... Why would Amir throw the game? Why would Amir that. throw the game when he knows that he's one of the top uh, uh, top candidates to get eliminated? Because Kale's a genius. He needs to win. Or maybe because get. Amir has no brain power there. Maybe <laughs> Kale made Amir think that Amir has an immunity idol. <laughs> that, that, that's maybe. more of a knock towards Amir. That's how much power Kale has. <laughs> but, okay, okay, but I, I can't, I can't just not respond to what you just said, Jeffrey. Uh, going back to just, I think Ryan's spot on. Like these challenges, you can't just rely on athleticism. You might need brain power, which I'm, I'm like I said, I'm 100% again gonna reaffirm my statement that Olivia has the best brain power out of all of the remaining candidates. Um, and also, Amir was the second highest vote getter for in the shed in the last episode. And Kale was the only reason why he's still here. So what's going to happen next episode? Amir either has to win, there has to be another miracle, or Amir's out. Like, Amir is the top candidate to be replaced next episode. Think about that. No, you, you see, that's where you're wrong. There's six people remaining, right? Amir is not going to vote for Amir. Kale's not going to vote for Amir. Nick's not going to vote for Amir. The other three people, Jordan, Olivia, and Caitlin. Jordan and Olivia might uh, vote for Amir. And let's say even if K- uh, Kalen was for Amir, it's still a tie. He's, an, he's fine right now. He, and then there's a chance that uh, Kalen might switch based on what we saw last episode. Speaking of the challenges and the games, we, ha- we have the person who decides the challenges and the games with us, and he hasn't said anything yet. And I'm not sure how much he can say. What, what do you have to say about all this debate going on, about what we're predicting? Uh, I'm trying to remain neutral in this situation, but I'm hearing good points from everybody. And that's the thing about this show is you really have no idea what could happen. You could be on any team and have an equal chance of being right because things can change. People can change alliances. That happens every episode pretty much. You really never know what can happen. So I'm not going to say whether any of you are right or wrong, but I love to hear all the strategizing. And I will say that there is a little bit um, – Team No Balloons. I hated that name. That's what I wanted to say. Yeah, horrible yeah. name. La- that shows a little bit of lack of brain power collectively. It is kind of a bad name. But it, me- it makes them equal, which makes it more competitive. I kind of regret letting them choose their own name. <laughs> Rather an emasculating name if you – 
you ask me. But anyways, going back, one last comment also about what Jeffrey said. You said that Olivia is the most salty, most whatever you said, right? Uh, uh, fake. That's what you need in type, shows type like like this. Like you'll never see me on this type of show because I I don't have the capability of that. But Olivia does, and that's what you need to win in something like this. You don't go to a show like this to be all giddy and friends with everyone with a smile on your face. All right, you have you have to trick people. I mean, Kale. That how do you think Kale did so well last episode? Because he tricked people. Um, yeah, Serge pointing at Kale, but uh, let me tell you, <laughs> Kale is not gonna win. Um, he already used his cards, and everyone's going to sus uh, suspect him now. Um, and honestly, I feel, I feel like Ryan would have went far if had he vote, voted for Olivia. Um, that's, that's a big regret. But anyways, uh, Amir, 1% chance of him winning. That's my, that's my take. What? All right. You know what? Can I say all of this? By the end of the day, uh, Team Solos are a bunch of morons. They have no idea what they're doing. Amir and Kale, completely different. They're completely different league. They're playing chess. Everyone else is playing checkers. I've said this before. And then there's no way Amir and Kale are going to fall for Wait, Olivia's stupid Jeffrey, a, did you not just say that, that Team Apex were dimwits because, because they didn't throw the game? And now yeah. you're going to say they're playing chess? No. No, I changed my mind after what Kale did. I'm back on Team Apex again. But, you know, those tricks that Olivia played on Ryan – they're not going to work on Amira and Kale. Amira and Kale are ahead of her in every single step. They're, it's not going to work on Kale. Not Amir, uh, just Amir Kale. Kale. Trust me. Uh, Amir, dude. Amir, me. Amir doesn't know what's going on. Kale is a brain power <laughs> behind men. Well, actually, I wouldn't, I wouldn't count on Nick either, but it, I don't think Amir <laughs> – I think Amir is just going with the flow, man. Yeah, well – what can be said, I think we all agree on, is hashtag free Ryan. Um, you know, thank you, Ryan, for joining us. We had a very good conversation. We got a lot of perspectives and disagreements going on here. And we're proud to collaborate with Home Alone on this, on this argument episode. Um, Gavin, thanks for coming again. Kevin, thanks for supporting Team Olivia. I respect your opinion. Joffrey, I don't respect your opinion. With <laughs> Wait, before we conclude, does Ryan yeah. have a favorite? Does Ooh. Ryan have, does a, Ryan favorite? have a favorite? That's a good question. Well, you know, um, I made my case uh, at the end of episode three. I do have to go for my girl, Caitlin. Um, considering the fact that, you know, she had, like, trusted me to vote for Olivia and I completely broke that trust I feel like I do kind of owe her sort of my support going forward um like I said in the episode the both of us we were wild cards from the beginning we have a majority of Haynes students in here I'm one of the eldest ones there so like definitely like the two of us there um <clears throat> The two of us there, we definitely weren't expected, uh, like, like we weren't expected to be sort of like as far as we were going. I knew I was going just because of that wild card factor, but you know, because she is a wild card, I feel like she's just as unpredictable as you know Olivia is with her intelligence and her cunning. I think the same way that. Olivia is playing the game the same way that Kale's playing the game. Caitlin's playing that game too, but she's also like a little better about it. I would have to say, I feel as though Caitlin sort of has this like drive and is willing to do everything about it, but she doesn't like let herself on as easily as like you may think she's out here making friendships, making all sorts of like camaraderie, but at the same time, you can very much tell that she is there to win and she will make that known to you when it de like depends on it. So, of course, my favorite's got to be Caitlyn. Um, she is my ride or die and I can't wait to see her go far. Great point and we are all looking forward to it. Thanks for tuning in to M2M coverage. <laughs>